What's going on everyone, Burbank Aviation here and welcome back to another video. Today we have the July 2023 fictional model airport for you guys. We have a very exciting video today with new routes, a completely new terminal, aircraft changes and all sorts of stuff to go over. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helped me out. And anyways, let's just get started. So before we dive into the video, we're going to kind of go over what has changed real quick. So these two terminals over here have been remodified once again. And it was three terminals uh, in the exact same shape as this. Um, but we are now reducing it to two. So that way we have some space. I think it's much better with this. It gives it a lot more space. Makes it look a bit better. So I'm very glad to see. Uh, so I'm glad that we are finally able to get this done. Um, by the next month, a couple of airlines will be moving out of here, which is including Alaska Airlines. And um, Breeze Airlines might move out of here. They've talked about it. They've also talked about staying here. Um, so we'll see what they do. But Alaska Airlines for sure is going to be moving out of here into the new terminal that we have, which is, this is, I'm pretty sure this is Terminal 4. Uh, so this is housing basically all of the low-cost carriers. Uh, so we have Avilo and Allegiant down here at the end. Oh, plethora of Southwest Gates and then Sun Country and Frontier. Um... Right now, they only have half the terminal constructed, so up to he this gate right here is all that's constructed. This entire side right here is still being worked on, um, and this is also going to be a terminal that does not have jet bridges. That's what they're planning on, just to have um, stairs leading up to the aircraft. No jet bridges is what they're hoping for, so that is definitely interesting. A big change up compared to all the rest of the terminals, which do have jet bridges. Um, so definitely interesting. What they're planning on doing is once they get this side of the terminal constructed, um, Avilo and Allegiant, Avilo, Allegiant, Sun Country, and Frontier will all move, and then Southwest will operate that entire side of the terminal all the way up into this gate right here, and then everything else. So, uh, Frontier, Sun Country, Av Allegiant, Avilo, Alaska, um, maybe Breeze, and then other low cost carriers, uh, they will be on this side of the terminal. So that's what they're planning on doing. Breeze, like I said, might move over there. They might not. I think they are going to move over there as Delta has been expanding a lot out of here. And they um, are looking uh, to kind of take that gate from Breeze. So definitely will be interesting. Um, but yeah, I also heard that once Delta does start expanding that they're going to try and move Hawaiian out of here. Um, and kind of park them up here at uh, this gate right here. They're going to try and park uh, Hawaiian here. As it is a, um, since it's fairly decent size here, this gate right there, it is a hybrid gate. Um, so it can fit, there's a, it can fit a main line and then a regional, a small regional jet right here. Or it can fit a wide body. So I'm pretty sure that Hawaiian is planning on uh, moving over here to uh, this side if Delta does continue uh, to expand. So that is definitely interesting. Hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, we're just going to get straight on into the video. So we're going to start over here with um, Concourse B of Terminal 3. So we got the Hawaiian AC-3200. This guy is currently going to be heading on over to Honolulu. After arriving in from Kahului, a new Saturday-only service just started up this month. So that's really interesting. Right now, they have it as a Saturday-only seasonal service. Um, but we will see. I heard they have been planning on expanding that. I think they're going to do year-round uh, next. And then they will get... Um, working on more frequencies. The Breeze A220-300 is currently docked up here in the gate. This guy's going to be heading on over to Las Vegas after arriving in from, we'll say Providence. The Delta 737-900ZR is going to be heading on over um, to, I uh, will say Salt Lake City after arriving in from... It's a good route. Uh, Seattle. The Delta 757-200 is currently pushing back here for the flight on over to Los Angeles after arriving in from Atlanta earlier. The Delta 717-200 is currently heading on over to... Uh, we'll say... Um, we'll send this guy out to Nashville. That is a new service as well after arriving in from... And we'll do Boston. 
The Delta AT21 Neo here is currently in the gate. He's going to be heading on over to... Uh, and we'll say... Minneapolis. And did we do... No, I don't think we've done Minneapolis. Uh, we'll say Minneapolis after arriving in from Detroit. The Delta AT21 is currently getting catering on for the flight on over to New York LaGuardia after arriving in from... Uh, New York, John F. Kennedy. The Alaska 7790GR is here. We got the UNCF in the front. This guy's going to be heading on over to Seattle after arriving in from Los Angeles. And the back one's going to be heading on over to San Diego after arriving in from Portland. The Frontier 8020 Neo is in the Poppy the Prairie Dog livery today. He's going to be heading on over to Phoenix after arriving in from Denver. And the Alaska 77 Max 9 in the West Coast Wonders of Orca livery is going to be heading on over to, and we'll say, a new service, Anchorage, after arriving in from San Jose del Cabo. Then moving on over here to the American Terminal, we got the, let's see if I can zoom out there, we got the American 20 this guy's going to be heading on over to Charlotte after arriving in from Philadelphia. The 77-800 is going to be heading on over to Dallas after arriving in from Miami. The E-145, uh, sorry about this shot, but the E-145 is going to be heading on over to uh, my road sheet. Uh, this guy's going to be heading on over to, we'll say, El Paso after arriving in from... Ooh. We'll say Cleveland. The E175 here is going to be heading on over um, to. Come on, there we go. Let's focus up. We got a bit of string of uh, the regional jets here. The E175 here on the front is going to be heading on over to. We'll say Boston after arriving in from Orlando. The CRJ900 is going to be uh, heading on over to. Uh, we'll say um, New York John F. Kennedy after arriving in from, we'll say he's one of our regional services out to Washington Reagan. And then the Republic Air was even 70 years flying for American today in the house lever. He's um, coming in from New York LaGuardia on the turnaround service. The American 737-800 here is going to be heading on over to uh, Phoenix after arriving in from Chicago Hair. The A319 is going to be heading on over to Washington. Uh, sorry about that. A319 is going to be heading on over to Washington Reagan after arriving in from Austin, a new mainline service. And the A321 here is in the Medal of Honor today. He's going to be heading on over to... Los Angeles after arriving in from a, I'm pretty sure this is a new mainline service, um, Las Vegas. Now I'm going to be moving on over here to our new terminal. So we got the Avilo 77-800. This guy's going to be heading on over to New Haven after arriving in from Raleigh, Durham. The Allegiant 1819 is going to be heading on over to Nashville, a new service after arriving in from... Uh, my other route sheet, I got two here. Uh, this guy's going to be heading on over to Nashville, like I said, after arriving in from Orlando Sanford. The Southwest 77 800 and the Tennessee One Lover is going to be heading on over to, say, Nashville after as well, after arriving in from San Diego. Two Southwest aircraft here, the 800 here, and the Heart One Lover is going to be heading on over to Las Vegas after arriving in from Atlanta, and the Lone Star 177 is just going to be heading on over to uh, Houston Hobby after arriving in from Dallas Love Field. The Max 8 here is going to be heading on over to Orlando after arriving in from uh, Phoenix. And the Max 8 in the Canyon Blue Retro livery is going to be heading on over to... Um, we'll say... Kansas City after arriving in from Denver. 
the Colorado 177 700 is going to be heading on over to. Um. So he'll be heading on. He'll be towed over to the International Gates as soon as the Alaska leaves over there. Uh, he'll be heading on over to Pareto Valoretta after arriving in from uh, Oakland in new service earlier today. The Southwest 7700 here in the Canyon Blue Liberty is going to be heading on over to New York LaGuardia after arriving in from Baltimore. And this 800 is currently taxing out to the runway for the flight on over to, um, we'll say, Austin Bertram after arriving in from San Diego. The Sun Country 7800 is in the 40 years of flight sticker, Ty Pod livery today. He's going to be heading out to Minneapolis St. Paul on the turnaround service. And the Frontier 8320 Neo in the Baja of the Wilshire Tail is going to be, uh, is currently getting baggage deboarded after arriving in from uh, Las Vegas. He'll be continuing on over to Denver for us today. So now we're going to move on over to the other side so we can get um, some of these other planes over in the other terminals in for the runway. So we got lots of stuff over here. We got the Delta 779 GR. This guy's currently coming in. He's on final. He's going to be arriving in from Atlanta, one of our other services out there. And he's going to be continuing on over to, I will say, let's see, what's one we haven't used yet? Mm. Uh, Las Vegas. There we go. That's a new service as well. The United 77 Nigeria is going to be heading on over to, pull up for United. Uh, he's going to be heading on over to Newark, uh, Newark after arriving in from, uh, we'll say, Denver. The Breeze E-195 is going to be heading on over to Provo, Utah after arriving in from, uh, we'll say Charleston. The American Eagle E-175 is going to be heading on over to, and we'll say, uh, what's a good one? We'll say New Orleans on the two monsters. There we go. Uh, the Southwest 77 800 is going to be heading on over to, um, We'll say uh, San Jose del Cabo after arriving in from Mexico City. There we go. The Emirates 777 300 is going to be heading on over to Dubai on the turnaround service. And the Delta Connection CRJ 700 is going to be heading on over to uh, Cincinnati on the turnaround service. Sorry about that. My phone just shut off on me for no reason. But we got this American Eagle CRJ uh, 700 here. This guy is going to be taxiing over to his gate after arriving in from... Oh, what's a good rap for this guy? We'll do St. Louis, and he'll be continuing on over to Houston Intercontinental. The Delta 8200 is currently taxiing down to his gate after arriving in from, I will say, Phoenix. He'll be continuing on over to, I will say, Orlando. The Southwest 77 Max 8 is currently taxiing out to the runway for the flight on over to i'll say we'll do new orleans on the turnaround service another new service for southwest and the alaska ones and five is currently heading uh taxiing out to the runway as well he is a skywest operator flight today he's gonna be heading on over to orlando after arriving in from chicago O'Hare earlier today the JetBlue 8021 in the Prism Dale is currently heading on over to Boston after arriving in from New York, John F. Kennedy. And the 8021 in, uh, 8021 Neo in the Balloon Sale is going to be heading on over to Los Angeles after arriving in from Fort Lauderdale. The United 8019 is currently going to be heading on over to, uh, this guy's going to be heading on over to, I will say Las Vegas after arriving in from Miami. The United 8020 is going to be heading on over to, we'll say, eh, Orlando feels good after arriving in from Phoenix. Move around on over here to the other side to try and get a better view. Let me just get my route sheet real quick. Very difficult to move around as this is such a big airport. Okay, so uh, the United 757-200 down there is going to be heading on over to, we'll do San Francisco after arriving in from Los Angeles. The 77-800 in the Star Wars livery is going to be heading on over to, um, 
Washington Dolits after arriving in from Chicago Hare. The 77 700 is going to be heading on over to New York LaGuardia after arriving in from uh, San Diego New Service. The 77 Max 9 is going to be heading on over to, um, let's see. I will say Denver after arriving in from, oh, what's a good service here? Ooh, trying to think. Um, hmm. Just trying to make sure I have all the hubs. We'll say Newark as well. The 977-800 is going to be heading on over to, um, Boston after arriving in from uh, Houston Intercontinental. And we have two United Express uh, CRJ 200s right here. The one on the right is going to be heading on over to uh, Tampa after arriving in from St. Louis in New Service. And then the one on the left is going to be heading on over to Atlanta after arriving in from uh, Washington Reagan. The 977 Max is currently taxiing into the gate after arriving in uh, from Minneapolis St. Paul on the turnaround service. A new a seasonal service here for United. And otherwise, we have the two Jet Sudax aircraft here. This front one's going to be heading on over to Miami after arriving in from Denver BJC. Sorry about that. And then the back one's going to be uh, heading on over to, we'll say, uh, Dallas Left Field after arriving in from Austin. We also have a new private jet ramp over here, so we did move the private jets uh, over here as we do have some open space. So this private one's going to be heading on over to uh, Oshkosh, actually, today, after arriving in from Teterboro earlier. And then this net jet's going to be heading on over to uh, Martha's Vineyard after arriving in from Van Nuys. This Amherst Flight Twin Jet Metro is going to be uh, heading on over to uh, Montgomery on the turnaround service. The United Express E-170 is currently going to be heading on over to, and we'll say Charlotte after arriving in from Dallas to Fort Worth. The American AT-19, the Allegheny Heritage Delivery, is going to be heading on over to, and we'll say, um, actually this guy, um, so I did say last uh, video that it, the last flight uh, was coming up. Um, out of this airport. So this guy's actually here from a diversion. Uh, he divide, uh, diverted over. Uh, he was heading from Chicago Hair to Milwaukee. Or not Milwaukee, sorry. He was heading from uh, Chicago Hair down to uh, San Antonio. But of weather in San Antonio, he diverted here. Uh, but he's been making the flight over to San Antonio once that weather clears up. Oh, that's why he's here. The Southwest and the 77 Virginia Canyon Blue Libre is going to be heading on over to we'll say say Los Angeles on the turnaround service the UPS 747-400 is going to be heading on over to Ontario after arriving in from Anchorage the 757 200 is going to be heading on over to Chicago Rockford after arriving in from Philadelphia and the 767-300 is going to be heading on over to Louisville after arriving in from, I will say, what could be, we'll say Louisville on the turnaround service. The FedEx 767-300F just arrived in from Indianapolis. He's going to be continuing on over to Ontario as well. And the 777-F is going to be heading on over to Anchorage after arriving in from Memphis. So that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helped me out. These videos do take quite a while to set up, especially this one. This one took me about two hours or something to set up. So quite a bit of time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helped me out. And I will see you all in the next one.